The woman that's inspired me the most is my mom because she just is always helping others. She's always there for me when I need advice and I would always love to be like her when I grow up. Oh, I gotta tell you, the day I got the letter, I was flabbergasted. I was, I'll probably tear up now. I got so emotional about the whole thing, but it means the world to me. I was surprised and thrilled. Um, I feel like I have so much more to do. Totally excited to represent, in a way, women in law enforcement. We're a small group, but we're mighty. I think being recognized by an organization that's doing important work, and then on top of that, with so many extraordinary women, is just incredible. And I am truly honored now to be a part of this organization, and I'll be a strong advocate for sure. You know, there's such opportunities for this generation of women, maybe even more so than my generation. Uh, the biggest advice I can give for women um, starting in their career is to not just focus on just your job. It's to focus on the community that you're in as well and get involved as soon as you can. To just go forward with it. It doesn't have to be perfect when you start, but just to stick with it. Don't let anybody shoot you down. Aim for the stars and don't worry about messing up. Get right back up and do it again and success will come in time and success only comes after a great deal of failure. When I was younger, um, it was really, I had some very cool moments where I could sit with women who were older, getting close to retirement, and just hang out with them in their kitchen or at lunch and talk to them about some of the things that they'd gone through. And it was just really inspiring that these women have gone through so much. So I always think, talk to some of us older folks and take us to lunch. So my advice has always been to select an area of focus that you're passionate about because then it doesn't feel like a job. Always look forward, don't look back. To have the courage to, you know, to pursue what you want and I think that's the first step and half the battle. I mean there's a lot, but to take your time. Don't need to be in a rush. Follow your heart, do what you love. Be a sponge. Take advantage of all the different people who are offering to give you guidance and support. Connect with as many people as possible. Fighting hard every day, working hard. Um, really kind of look into yourselves and figure out what it is that makes you tick on a day-to-day -day basis. What do you love? Anything could happen. Anything could happen.